Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved with me, Lathrix. And welcome to my little hunting party. As the title may suggest, we are going hunting for the less than elusive Titan Boa today, because, well, they make an excellent prey for a newly tamed animal and have the chance of dropping some rather nice loot. I know for a fact. Well done, Damien. I know for a fact that they definitely drop tranquilizing arrows and regular arrows, both of which I'm actually in short supply of at the moment, but I am uh, informed by a few people, which may be incorrect, but we'll find out today, that they do have a chance of dropping rare and above. Um, armor and weaponry, mostly weaponry, and by rare, of course, I mean apprentice. The um, the rarity system in this game. So, who are we bringing with us? We are bringing Damien, my highest level saber tooth. We are bringing Jazz, my new recruit, and we are bringing Amazon, one of the uh, most oh, what's the word, veteran of sabers in my little uh, in my little group over there. And we are also bringing. Shade, which is my highest level Dimorphodon, which I'm going to be testing out as a nice hunting animal. And I've got all of my lovely metal arrows ready, so let's go. They're found quite often in the swamps and, well, everything else, so they shouldn't be too difficult to find. Well, so far I have slain one titan boa. It was stuck in a rock and gave me lo no loot. So, we are now extending our hunt to Sarkos, the glorious new pack animal, the giraffe rhinoceros hybrid, and pretty much anything that calls the swamp its home. So, let's do some hunting together. Got my bird ready, my lovely Dimorphodon. Okay, let's see if we can get a headshot, that'd be fantastic, and we can! Go forth! Trying to kite this thing a little bit, and now it's fighting back. Shade did take a nasty hit there, but all of my lovely um, pets are now there, and they're aggroing everything. Which is fine by me, actually. Oh, a Titan Bow is entering the fray. Perfect. Just what we were actually hunting in the first place. Don't run away. Wow, it's... Whoa, that's creepy. Excellent. Killed the Titan Boa. Everyone okay? Excellent. Well done, my hunting party. Very quickly cleared that up. So, did the Titan Boa give us any loot today? Ah, sadly not. This was a dud. But we got some levels. Excellent. You're currently holding all my stuff. You got some loot from some of the animals we've been killing today. Did you currently loot anything? Uh, yes, you did. You got a new metal hatchet. No, I know. Amazon had a hatchet before. And, nope, nothing really of note, but we have got a lot of meat. Let's continue the hunt then. I must say though, the metal arrows are absolutely fantastic, and now metal's a lot out easier to get. I will be using them a lot more. Thankfully, the piranhas are actually very easy to deal with, because there is a hell of a lot of them. So I just tend to stick on my mount while I'm in the water. Should really bring the spino down here or something, something a little bit more suited for the aquatic environment. Ah, hello Piranha, I see you. Just carry on. A frog. Uh, we could start hunting... Do the frogs actually drop cementing paste if they haven't been tamed? Since I know how they get cementing paste is by killing and harvesting insects. What about if I were to just kill one? No, okay. So they're not exactly a worthwhile prey item. Wait, a regular coal, not a piranha? Oh, there's a piranha... Oh, guys, you're not attacking the piranha. There's a bronto... Oh, we could do a little bit of bronto hunting. I really do think that we would be absolutely fine hunting them, but I'm not sure, though. Oh, should we risk it? Should we try and hunt one of the larger beasts in this area? Well, actually, the largest beast. What level are you? 32 and... I like how they just ignore us, kind of, you know, sizing them up. 32 and 28. I don't think I'll risk it for now, so let's continue our hunt to see if we can find some more boas. What's that there? Ooh, a spino! Okay, yep, we're hunting the spino. I know it sounds silly since we just avoided hunting the bronto, but ooh, it's already very damaged. I hit it, I definitely hit it. I killed it! And it teleports. Okay, apparently it got 
flung somewhere, but okay, we killed the Spino. <laughs> Hello! Uh, pike, which I don't need. Some arrows. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary. Is that being eaten? It's being eaten by something. Let's get out of here before we figure out what's actually eating it. It's probably ants. The hunt continues. Still not our original prey, but it will do for now. Go forth, my minions! Oh, and while you're doing that, I'll be assaulted by ants, apparently. Fantastic. There's me wanting to watch the fight. Go on, lads! Whoa. Well, that's a... That's a rather fabulous pose. <laughs> Is that its leg? Yep, yeah, that's its leg. Yep, yeah, there's the head. Okay, that was really... Okay, then. A Sarko hunts its prey whilst it's being hunted itself. Let's see, and go! And the Sark, and Damien got the kill. Well done, Damien. So far, we have leveled up a fair bit, and we're getting nice amounts of health for all of my lovely animals. Oh, look, even you've leveled. That's fantastic. I'll have to level up Shade in a little while. Darn it, nothing on the Sarko, but we did get our metal arrow back at least this time. I did see what I think might be a Spino in the background. Fantastic. This time I'll make sure to let the animals actually get the kill rather than me. I wonder what it's hunting. Probably something in the water. Probably just coals or something. Ooh. That is deeper than I thought it was. Yet yeah, we're back to the main river now. Out of the actual swamp area. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me to hunt here. If I can get across without it attacking me first, that would be a lot better for me. Oh, of course, and it goes straight into the middle of the river. Yeah, it's definitely hunting coal. No, it's hunting the piranhas. Speaking of piranhas, please stop attacking my... Oh, you killed them. Well done. Excuse me. Level 68. Okay, I'm staying on the animal. Okay, let's let Damien tank the damage. There we go. Well done, Damien. That's a lot of levels for Damien. Fantastic. There's nothing really there I can see which I'm going to be hunting specifically. Oh, yes there is. There's a Titan Boa right there. Our main prey for today. Let's see. Where did it go? There, oh, I love how they go underwater. That's fantastic. It's so creepy when they sneak up on you. Nothing of interest. But they're so easy to kill and give so much experience being a predatory species. Splish, 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 splish. <sighs> Oddly, this might be my most dangerous fight today. The huge group of tortoises right here. Or tortoises. Or turtles. I'm not sure if they are tortoises or turtles. Hello! They are remarkably hard to kill, these things, so... We'll see. Oh, I almost hit the bird then. That would have been horrific. As a waste of a shot. Oh god, how are my guys doing? I see most of the, the turtles being in a lot of damage, but I don't know how much. Come on, get out of the way. I just hit one of my own. How are you doing there? Yeah, yeah, you're doing fine. How's the wolf? Amazon's looking a little bit hurt. Come on, guys. I believe in all of you. I'm not really helping here. Is that it? Oh, Wolfie! Oh, Jazz! I'm so sorry! Well, you definitely leveled up. Yeah, that, yeah, that was a lot of experience. Okay, I underestimated the power of the wolf there, and I almost paid for it severely. I'm very sorry. I keep forgetting that these aren't particularly high level. I mean, other than Damien, I mean, look, Damien survived with still over half health. They're quite low level. That's why we're here. We're here to level them. I think it's because I've been I've been hunting with rather large animals recently. I'm keep forgetting these things can die. They are very frail. Let's just help um, Damien out of the tree. There we go. Everyone okay? Everyone good? Everyone else level? How about you, my my little birdie? Demorphodon, did you level? Yes, you did, and more health for you as well. 
Okay, back to hunting the larger animals. Surprisingly, the larger animals generally are a lot easier to hunt because they can't get too many attacks on, on your smaller animals. But we have just left the swamp, or at least left the main bit of the swamp. We're now heading towards the ocean. Oh, let me guess, ants? No, raptors! Very, very dead raptors. The patient hunter knows just when to strike, and that will be as soon as one of these two mighty beasts is the victor. And then we swoop in and destroy the victor. Beautiful. Goodbye, Kano. Did we get anything from the Kano other than some prime meat? No, sadly not, but we did get some health. Uh, Amazon. Where's Amazon gone? I was just over here. I'm guessing she's stuck somewhere by one of the trees. Oh, there you are. And Damien is apparently in the... D okay, let's carry on. A little respite from hunting, and... Wow. That is actually surprisingly good from a green supply drop. 20 tranquilizing arrows, a parachute, 34 regular arrows. We don't really want the bow or the extraction kit, but they're both pretty darn good on your first starting. That's a really nice green supply drop, which of course is one of the lower level ones. So, yeah, I think that was worth them um, taking the time out to go in and getting. Let's just drop this meat for a second, because, well, we're a bit too heavy. Well, to be fair, we're also too heavy because we have far too much junk in our inventory, so that doesn't help either. Amazon, where is Damien? Also, is that Carno currently stuck? Oh, hello, Damien. Is that Carno stuck in the water? That is... Oh, and a Sarko behind it. Okay, then. Well, straight back into the fray. Oh, I should have jumped then. Well, that was over before it began. They killed them before I even saw it. However, that Kano seems to mean business. Or not. <laughs> that was fairly easy as well. Now, I have finally disabled auto loot on my animals, so I, I won't be getting all of the arrows and stuff in their inventory like I was before, which should make it a little bit easier to figure out what drops what. If they did have items, however, they still will have the open inventory option, so I can at least tell if things have been grabbed. Well, at least, I, sorry, I could tell if things have been grabbed. Is Damien currently stuck? Damien, are you stuck? Are these actually harvestable? I haven't tried yet. Oh, they are. Okay. Ooh, and he also dropped rare mushrooms. Fantastic. And let's eat the Dilo egg, because we can. Another lootless titan boa. I'm getting a bit of a, um, a bit of a pattern here, honestly. But at least it's some food for my lovely little doggy. Which, which to be fair, I'm going to have to throw away anyway. But experience is experience, I suppose. The age-old question. Titan boa versus Dimorphodon. Go! Well done. And once again, no loot. Although I do hear... I can hear another snake. Is there, a, is there another titan bow nearby? Not that I can see. Okay, are all my... Yep, they're all safe down there, still making sure they're not completely in the water and vulnerable to piranhas. Well, let's see how good Shade really is at fighting, then. Let's quickly aggro this Stego. There we go. And... go. Make sure to use the Sickle rather than the Bow, just to make sure I don't do too much damage to the Stego. So your Dimorphodons do actually do a lot of damage, although mine's been upgraded just for health. I think it has... 1,600 odd health, so it's not going to die anytime soon. Damien. Well, I think it's safe to say that my lovely little um, Dimorphodon won anyway, but still, Jazz, Damien, Amazon, that was a perfectly good test. You all ruined. I'm very disappointed by all of you. Let's see if I can catch the um, Dimorphodon the next time it actually goes past me. There we go. 
Okay, back to hunting boas. The fog has rolled in and the swamp has been enveloped by it, although it is now lifting. We've got to quite a high level now with Jazz being level 32, but I think um, we should end this after she gets to level 35, so that's exactly what we're going to do. I am now riding Damien to make sure that he doesn't get the killing blows quite as much, and that way we can allow Amazon and Jazz to get the levels. So we're going to probably leave the swamp now and start going for the much larger prey, the T-Rexes, the Brontos, and of course the new pack animals, just to ensure that we get all the experience we need. Oh no, Jazz has got stuck, so it's Amazon on her own killing it. I don't know if, if that is actually going to go too well. After this we'll try with the Bronto, but we'll definitely allow Damien to help with that one. Come on Jazz, you can do it. Nope, Jazz got stuck. For people who love cats, more proof that cats are better than dogs. For people who love dogs like myself, a collective sigh I think is in order. Well done, Damien. Okay, all of you follow me. Oh look, a Bronto! Shall I release the bird? Release the bird. Ow! Release the bird! Well done! Oh, well done, Shade! Go you! I wonder if I can kill this in one shot. Just a random side note. Oh, who cares? Let's get back to the fight. And the Pronto has been slaughtered by Amazon. Well done. Well done, you guys. You all did very, very well. Can I get back onto the doggy? Please. And where's my birdie gone? There you are. And yes, I will never stop calling this a bird, because I always think of it as a parrot on my shoulder when I actually grab it. There we go. Whenever you grab it, you feel really graceful and like very pro huntsman like, and, and like when it flies past, you just ignore that. I've never actually had a Bronto drop anything good, honestly, other than its vertebrae over and over again, which we don't need at the moment. It's far too heavy to take with us. Okay, so two Brontos slaughtered. There's one over there. Let's see if we can get down. Ooh, down a little bit more safely than the route I was about to take. All following me? Excellent. And begin again! Apparently Amazon was very, um, not very interested in, in the fight there. Come on Jazz, I believe in you, you can get the killing blow. Amazon! Amazon keeps getting the killing blow despite being not the most powerful. It's actually quite surprising. I'm also running out of arrows, so I should perhaps just get close enough to hit them in the face, or the leg in this case. They run away! Well done, Damien. So do these actually drop any loot? I haven't seen one drop loot yet, so I don't think they do. They definitely drop prime meat, so that's still a worthy cause to hunt them in the future, but... No, not much else. They're also inc incredibly common. I thought they were a little bit rarer than this, but they're just everywhere today. Okay, so what I think I'll do is I'll head on back home and I'll leave the two lovely sabers behind and then I'll do some hunting just on Jazz to get that elusive few more levels. Those elusive few more levels, in fact. One of the first Titan Bowers to actually give us some loot. So we have spears, clothes, and arrows. And of course by clothes I just mean some very basic cloth pants. So nothing overly special there, but at least we definitely know they drop loot. Ooh, hello. There's two of these lovely fellows currently killing Dilos. Well, I may have stole one of the kills. And let's take advantage of this whole situation and do some killing ourselves. Now these are quite scary honestly, they do quite a bit of damage, but that one was quite low level and already hurt, so not too difficult. They do actually give quite a bit of experience as well, so all things are good. I'll eat a little bit of that. Oh, more ants, ants, ants everywhere. Um, there's actually not too many ants in the swamp I've found, so far at least in my experience. But there have been so many of the dragonflies, it's been unbearable. Because you accidentally hit one, then they spawn others, and you end up killing hundreds of the darn things. On the upside, they give more experience than you'd expect. On the downside, they're still tiny little insects of annoyance. Oh, hello, you're pretty. Of course, it comes in a red variety. I actually saw an albino one earlier, but then I accidentally may have killed it. We're almost there though, almost back home, then we can do some lone hunting as a lone wolf.
Time to take advantage of a brawl. Excuse me, excuse me, going straight for the Sarko here. I really want to get the killing blow. There we go, fantastic. Shade got a kill, well done. Wait, Shade actually bites while it's... Wow, I didn't even realise that. Shade actually can bite things while it's on your shoulder. I wonder how many times I've missed that happen. Well, there we go. A lovely bit of um, taking advantage of here. Oh no, we did frog. How much? Well, I'm pretty darn close to the next level as well. We're already le level 33, almost 34. Perhaps I'll even get 35 before we make it home, although we are now very, very close. Now, this is the part I don't like. I actually had to travel this way on the way down. It's absolutely filled with piranhas. Also, the washing machine just started by itself. Well, that's a weird form of haunting in the house. Another dead titan boa with loot. Mostly just berries, but we do have a recipe, which I don't think I've actually had before. So that's pretty awesome. Sadly, of course, you can find all the recipes on the wiki, but it is quite nice to have it in actual recipe form. And then we have all the basic stuff, very similar to an Argentavis kind of drop. So, still pretty good, nothing out of the ordinary. So far we found a couple of metal pieces here and there, but ultimately not really the best kind of loot. And that is a dead titan boa, which we didn't kill. Okay then. Also has loot, and same again, just berries and a little bit of very low quality stuff. Ah, uh, well, it seems like that's kind of the theme today. I was hoping it might be really good, and then we could use the Titan Boas as the ultimate hunting, well, to be hunted animal, the ultimate prey animal, but sadly not the case. There's something fighting in the background there, absolutely no idea what, but we're finally out of the swamp, oops, and straight back into the river. And I think I see an egg. A white egg, what one's the white egg? I think a parasaur, no, a parasaur's like yellowish. Go away, piranha. So what are you then, white? Um, the dilos are very small. Oh, it's a titan boa egg. Well, that's rather awesome. Okay, it's the first time I've seen one of those. Let's pop this in your inventory. There we go. There we are, Damien. Sorry, no, I mean Amazon, rather. I even read the name and I still said the wrong name. Okay, let's see if we can kill this one. All of you stay. Which means, they're gonna, which means they're going to go and eat, but okay. Let them stay there, and let's see if we can kill this on our own. Because this will give us the level. But let's just heal up first, because these things do pack a punch. There we are. Or oh, 32. Oh, wow, yeah, it's packing a big punch. Oh, no, it's getting too close to them. They might end up intervening. We do, of course, have our um, Dimorphodon also helping by biting its ankle. No, sadly they intervened after all of that. Stop pushing it back so much! Oh, Damien! Follow me, stop doing that. Does this get, have any loot? No, it does seem like they don't drop loot, or at least not what I've seen so far. I may be wrong, just... Not so far. And yes, the washing machine is still going on in the background, because I can't stop it now it started. Yay. We managed to get the 34th level on the way home, and now it's time to get the final level, to get to level 35. So, I'm going Lone Wolf right now, just me and Jazz, and, uh, well, our little Dimorphodon on my shoulder, against the whole world. So really, I was just about to say, I'm looking for something like a Carno or a Rex, and well, there's one of the two. I'm not sure if I could beat a Rex, but a low level one, I really do like our chances. I have been up- Whoa, this is a level 100 Kano. This is going to actually be quite a hard fight. A few Dilos not really helping by poisoning me. Thanks for that. Had the Dimorphodon got two of the kills, perhaps we should have left it at home. But saying that, it did help out quite a bit. So well done, my little Dimorphodon. It's so weird leaving it behind now, though, because I'm so used to hunting with it. Wow, all the high levels are out today. Thankfully, Jazz has a very nasty bite, so it's not all that bad. There we go, two kills there. Actually, what I should do is harvest them completely, as that does give me a little bit of experience. Halfway through the level already, let's see if we can find something big and scary. Or just some more trikes. Some more trikes will work too. Oh, there's normally a Bronto over here. It seems like one of these spawning locations for them. 
Well, that may have been the most boring 20 minutes in Ark history. There were two Alpha Raptors defending the banks of the river from any um, would-be hunter, and as such, I had absolutely no opportunity to level other than running around killing Dilos and Dodos and harvesting them for meat. On the upside, we had about 500 meat now. On the downside, it took 20 minutes to get one level. But there we are. As you can see, Jazz is now level 50, so 35. Amazon is 18. Oh, Damien leveled at some point and is now level 127. And amazingly, my lovely little Dimorphodon managed to make it all the way to 130. And has probably proven herself, sorry, himself, to be the best hunter out of the four. So thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Ark Survival Evolved is a series you wish to see continue in the future. Next time we're going to be heading up to the barren wastes once more, aka the snow biome, and possibly setting up a small base there and m finding a little pack for Jazz to belong to. Thank you for watching and goodbye.